Hey everybody, Steve here with Jim. Hi. And we're on our weekly trip to the grocery store and thought we would answer a couple of questions that you've left recently. As you can see, we're in the dark here. It's what, 5.55. Walmart opens at six o'clock and we usually try to get there right around the time they open. We're actually late today and I don't know why it's still so dark, but I guess the time will be changing at some point. The sun will be coming out probably right around the time we get out of the store. So on the way to the store, I thought we would read the questions, and then on the way home, we can answer the questions. So the first question comes from R. Maloney 022, and he wants to know about the housing costs here in the Palm Springs area. Scott Kemps was curious about the cost of living here in Palm Springs, said he would like to know what the cost of living is. He also asked what rentals generally run here in California. And I guess he lives in Rochester, New York. He says that there in Rochester, $3,000 a month is the highest he's ever seen or heard of for rentals in New York or in Rochester. Well, I can tell you right off that $3,000 in Los Angeles, that's considered really, really cheap, I think. You know, San Francisco. Or even San Francisco or San Diego. Yeah, $3,000 is really on the low side in those cities. Here at Palm Springs, well, I'm going to finish reading you some of the questions and comments, and then we'll talk about the, the rentals here in Palm Springs. But, you know, in general, California is the size of most countries, or many countries. It's huge, and we have, you know, four major cities, larger than most of the cities here in the country. So our prices of rentals and cost of living and home prices are all over the place. But they're all mostly very expensive, with one exception, and that actually is Palm Springs, which I think you'll, many of you will find surprising. So uh, Fred Straw said, I would love to live in Palm Springs if I had the money. So that wasn't really a question, just a statement. Obviously he thinks it's very expensive to live here, and that's sort of true and sort of not true, which we'll talk about on the way home from the store. And James Takax, who's left quite a number of comments, said, if I want enough money to move and not do my job anymore, Palm Springs would be my destination. Now, I'm assuming when he says won money, that he's talking about the lottery. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think if you won the lottery, you could definitely afford to live here. But surprisingly, you could live here even without winning the lottery. So because we received these comments about the cost of living here in Palm Springs, I thought this would be a good time to make a video about how much does it cost to live here in Palm Springs, especially if you're a senior or if you're retired. So we're here at Walmart now, and it looks like they're actually open. We're just uh, 601. So we're going to go do our shopping, and we'll answer those questions on the way home. It looks like I spoke too soon. They haven't opened the doors yet. And sorry, James, I just realized I mispronounced your last name. I pronounced it Takax, but I just remembered you corrected me the last time, and the correct pronunciation is Takas. Just about everything here that I buy seems to have doubled or tripled in price just in the past year. And here at the checkout stand, Jim just pointed out this small bag of M&Ms. It's now $2. How did our country get to this sad point? Inflation doesn't double and triple prices in one year. I really feel for working class families and seniors and retirees on fixed incomes. And if these are the prices at Walmart, I can't even imagine what the prices are at other stores. Another area where corporate greed seems to be totally out of control is the price of gas. It's still around $4 a gallon here in California, while the gas companies are reporting all-time record-breaking profits. Gas prices are typically much higher here in California and in Palm Springs than they are in other parts of the country and sometimes twice the price. So if you drive a lot, that definitely can increase your cost of living. Fortunately, now that we're retired, neither of us drives very much at all. So gas isn't a very big part of our budget, but unfortunately we do still eat. You're leaving without me. See what? You're leaving without me. <laughs> There's one behind me that's just sitting there. Maybe Hawk, maybe she doesn't realize you're trying to get out. Or just start going, maybe she'll move. Well, the sun is definitely up now. It's only 7 o'clock. Gosh, we were there for an hour. We're trapped in the parking lot here at Walmart because there's a woman uh, in the aisle right behind us who won't move. <laughs> she decided to park in the middle of the street right behind Jim, and we can't get out. What'd she say? 
I mean, she was spraying some. I don't clean any of her glasses. They're just sitting there. <laughs> See? So when you talk about cost of living, you definitely have to think about food. But I think the cost of living for food is pretty much the same all over the U.S. Don't you think so, Jim? I would say food prices pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's maybe. what I'm talking about, just food prices. We always shop at Walmart. And a year ago, I would spend about $50 every week when we came. And I think you'd spend about $50 just, every week, right? about 60 to 65 Yeah, because you would always buy the more expensive fruit and stuff. And now everything is usually about a hundred dollars now today i bought hardly anything so mine was only sixty dollars but i bought half as much so and yours was ninety nine dollars ninety nine now that included two cleaning products which was about twelve dollars of it but i mean I've, I've been splurging this year on grapes though at like two dollars a pound and i buy about six pounds my grapes usually run twelve to thirteen dollars a week yeah, which is insane. I mean, we live in the Coachella Valley, which used to be known as one of the growing capitals of the world. I mean, we grow, you know, most of the food or a lot of the food here for other parts of the country, but I think we ship it all away and then we import it from other places where they can jack up the price. I don't know. But anyway, that's topic, I guess, for another video. Food, I think, you know, basically I'm not even going to include that in the cost of living or how much it costs to live in Palm Springs because I think we'd be spending about the same amount no matter where we lived. When I was on my road trip last year, I shopped at Walmart in every state practically and prices seem to be about the same as they were here. So I thought I would just start with the cost of housing since a couple of you mentioned that. And so I looked this morning and I just did a real quick look on Zillow, Zillow.com, to see how much it was to rent. One of you mentioned renting here and how much it is to, to rent in Palm Springs for a one bedroom, one bathroom rental. The lowest one I could find was $1,200 a month, but it seemed like most of them are around $1,500 for a one bedroom or even a studio. So, you know, $1,500, $1,200 to $1,500 for a one bedroom or a studio. In California, that's pretty reasonable. In LA, for the same one bedroom in almost anywhere in LA, it would probably be three, four, five thousand dollars a month. I don't know if you could get anything for $1,200 or 1500 in Los Angeles. I don't know. I mean, you can check Zillow, but as far as all of California, I'm not going to talk about the rest of California because I don't know. For regular annual rentals right now on Zillow, it looks like 1200 to 1500 is about as low as you can find in the city of Palm Springs. Now, as far as purchasing a home, again, according to Zillow, the average price of a home in the city of Palm Springs is a little over $700,000. And this is February of 2023. And right now, Zillow shows only two single-family detached homes on the market in the city of Palm Springs under 500000 So I'm not saying that housing is cheap here in Palm Springs, but there are some very affordable options here. And compared to many other areas in California, and even many other states in the country, the cost of living for retirees can be a lot lower here. And one type of home that is still affordable is mobile homes or manufactured homes. I was able to find one here in Palm Springs for 80,000 listed on Zillow, another one for 119,000, and then they shot up to, you know, 200, 300. And the lower priced manufactured homes or mobile homes are usually in mobile home parks where you pay the space rent, you don't own the land. And space rent can be 500 to 1,000 to $1,500 a month just for the space rent. So you own the home, kind of if you watch the video I did with Amy a couple of weeks ago at her tiny home, manufactured home, she was paying, now she was only paying I think 150 a month for space rent, which was very reasonable. And her tiny home was, I believe she's she paid 50,000 or 59,000 for it. So that's one of the best kept secrets here in Palm Springs, in the entire Palm Springs desert area, is that you can still buy manufactured homes here very affordably. Now, again, it's all relative. So $80,000 for a manufactured home in California is dirt cheap. So $80,000 for your own manufactured home is pretty nice and pretty affordable. As far as condos, the cheapest condo I could find, or the least expensive condo I could find listed in the city of Palm Springs right now on Zillow, this is February 2023, was a one bedroom, one bathroom for $175,000. And I don't know if you own the land, because many of the properties here, you don't 
own the land, so you also have uh, a lease fee as well. And I'm not sure if that was on lease or if you own the land, but about 175000 Now, 175000 somewhere in the Midwest, maybe you could still buy a your own home where you own the land. So I, I'm sure it, there are places in other parts of the country where it is more affordable to own. But, you know, really, when you think about it, I mean, when most people think of Palm Springs, they think of movie stars and celebrities and million dollar homes, and we have lots of those. But the best kept secret is that we also have lots of very affordable homes. Well, I would say maybe five years ago, you could have bought a condo for under $100,000, a really nice one in Palm Springs. And definitely manufactured homes were all almost under 100000 But things have like skyrocketed you know prices have really increased a lot here so as far as utilities Jim we mentioned recently that Jim every month compiles everything that we spend on utilities and he sends me a, a bill split so we, we just split the bill 50 50 I'm gonna have to get out my phone for this because I, I put it on my phone so I would have some of the prices so I'm gonna read to you from my phone how much we uh, we spend on certain utilities so our gas natural gas this past month was 118 dollars electric was 217 dollars water 72 dollars cable 261 and i think we mentioned we go with a very expensive cable package that also includes our internet well the other thing is to mention on the water our average water bill, our normal water bill is 40. The reason it was 70 that month is because we drained the pool and refilled it. Oh, okay. So the house phone that Jim pays for, because he, he wants the house phone, is $51 a month. Our cell phones, the total was 162 a month. Trash is $77 a month. A quarter. Oh, it's a quarter? Of course. Oh, Trash okay. is quarterly. Oh, that's good. Okay, so $150 for the pool. Our homeowners association is $144 a month. And then we have our personal umbrella insurance, which is just, is that once a year? And we have our homeowner's insurance, is that once a year? Okay, so, and our taxes though are pretty low here. The taxes in California are 1%. And I think that's one of the lowest in the country. So in addition to the 1% tax on real estate, on, you know, on the home that you own, the cities and counties and other agencies, they tack on all kinds of other fees. So I think it typically comes out to about one and a half percent is what it really is by the time you pay all the other local local taxes but again that's pretty affordable now of course it depends on what size home you have and so our house we mentioned I think uh, again a couple of weeks ago we chose to have a smaller home our home is about 1250 square feet it's two bedrooms two bathrooms well for us it's considered a, a nice yard again we watch HGTV and we always laugh because people back east will look the backyard when they're house hunting and they say oh my god what a tiny backyard I don't know if we could have such a tiny backyard and we're looking at it and it's the size of 10 football fields and we just crack up because uh, here in uh, uh, California those backyards you could fit you know 10 or 20 other homes in them I mean it's just bizarre isn't it yeah because like ours is actually I mean they would probably be considered big backyards. yeah yeah and I think most people watching our videos would probably look at our backyard and consider it a very tiny backyard but it's a normal size for uh, for California well, and for maybe, Palm Springs well, maybe you know like when it gets more summer when uh, the time changes you know maybe what you can do on our way to Walmart if we take the other route some of those new homes that they built you can see how close to the back fence they're built I mean they're almost like built right up to the fence so oh yeah already no yard. yeah here in California the trend is really to have no yard at all which I have no idea why I mean we got all this beautiful weather you think you'd want to spend most of your time outdoors like we do but anyway that's another topic for another uh, video you know I guess maybe because we are fruit thinking about taxes and other expenses and upkeep and we just figured you know a smaller house is all we need and why have more than you need even though we could always afford a lot more than we had we just always felt more comfortable and always preferred you know having a smaller home again I think that keeps our cost of living down so that's something you have to consider well, I was gonna say even all the utilities those are just our experiences based upon our usage I mean if well that's why I mentioned with it, yeah. lawns and stuff I mean with because our water even though it's forty dollars a month we don't really use that much in comparison mostly if you have grass and whatever 
or have a lot of plants that you need to water, your water bill is going to be a lot higher. Yeah, even though we have a pool and it, you know, I'm sure it evaporates a little bit, our water bill has usually been, it used to be like in the 20s and $30 range, you know, for almost the entire time we've lived here in Palm Springs. It doesn't, a pool doesn't really use that much water, and I guess not that much evaporates. But yeah, as Jim was saying, a lot of people choose to have grass, and I've known some people down here who had grass, and their water bills were three, four, five hundred dollars a month. Grass in the desert, I, that I don't get, but you know, I guess everyone decides how they want to spend their money. And we have desert landscape, you know, gravel and cactus and things that don't take any water, so we use almost no water. We purchased this home about 15 years ago with the expectation that this would be our retirement home and we wanted it to be easy to maintain as we got older and knowing how prices continue to go up every year, we wanted to make sure it remained affordable enough to live here until the end. So the bottom line for us is when we add up our monthly home expenses, property taxes, insurance, and utilities, our total is around $3,000 a month for a 15-year-old home with a pool in Palm Springs, California. And since we split all of our bills 50-50, that's around $1,500 a month each. In 2023, it doesn't get much more affordable than that. That said, a mobile home or a tiny home here in Palm Springs might be even more affordable. When it comes to affordable retirement living, it's impossible to compare apples to apples because there are just too many variables. But hopefully this gives you an idea of approximately how much housing costs typically are in the city of Palm Springs right now, especially if you're looking to retire affordably. So how about you? Is affordability high on your list of requirements when it comes to retirement? Please share with us if you found even more affordable options in other cities around the country or around the world. It might help others in their search for affordable retirement homes. Until next time, happy retirement, everybody.